The ability to recognize the same pattern from different views is fundamental for dynamic vision tasks like structure for motion and object tracking. But many parts of our environment simply do not have enough distinct features to complete this task. In computer vision, there are two ways of handling this problem. The first way is to physically add such patterns to the environment, which can greatly help vision-based navigation and mapping. But tiling the real world with QR codes is not practical. A second way to add texture is to project it, which is great for reconstructing static objects, but it doesn't help with dynamic tasks because the texture does not stick to the object like a physical pattern. But what if we could combine the advantages of both of these solutions? Namely, what if we could project a pattern remotely and then make it stick to the object surface like a physical pattern? In this paper, we accomplish this by building a novel system that combines a thermal camera with a laser projector. The system uses the laser to paint heat patterns that stick to object surfaces. While invisible to a standard camera, the heat pattern can be seen and therefore tracked in the infrared domain. This enables the system to perform various dynamic vision tasks like structure for motion, object tracking and optical flow on completely textureless objects. Let's see an example. In this experiment, we scan a mannequin head placed on a rotating stage. The head is made of a dark and textureless material whose features are really hard to make out with a regular camera. But in the thermal domain, our laser creates trackable heat points on the object surface. After tracking, we can manually feed the point matches into call map and compute the camera motion and a sparse model of the scene's geometry. As you can see, our method generates accurate point matches which allow Colmap to recover the circular camera motion around the object. But to use thermal patterns, we must solve a unique challenge. Unlike their visible light counterparts, thermal patterns diffuse and evaporate with time, which means that a pattern imaged at one time and at another later time do not have a consistent appearance, which many vision algorithms assume. Moreover, because the patterns evaporate entirely after a while, the system must continuously project new pattern points, which complicate the matching problem even more. To solve this problem, we developed a learning-based approach that takes the new frame removes the newly added points that did not exist in the previous frame and reverses the heat diffusion to match the visual appearance of the new frame to the previous one. Let's see the effect of our diffusion correction network by looking at another example. Notice that on this material, the points evaporate and diffuse rapidly, which changes their appearance between the frames. Tracking the points without correcting for heat diffusion and the newly added inconsistent points results in a poor reconstruction, while correcting the frames using our network significantly improves the structure for motion quality. Let's look at a different application. In this experiment, we move a black textureless board in front of another textureless board. Here, we track the projected points, which allows us to superimpose a picture on the plane's surface. And instead of tracking points explicitly, we can use the resulting heat pattern to compute the optical flow between the frames for the motion of these textureless objects. Finally, in this experiment, we put the system on a cart and use it to localize the cart's position in an office. Here, we point the system at the floor using a mirror and drive it in a 20-meter loop 
around the desks seen on the left. We track the pattern points created on the floor and use them to recover the cart's motion. In the paper, we show the reconstruction accuracy by comparing the motion computed with our system to the motion computed from our reference GoPro camera directed at the office environment. Notice that our recovered motion completes a loop even though there are no point matches between the first and last frames. In summary, this paper presents a novel approach that bridges the advantages of physical and projected patterns, opening the door to a new class of structure-like methods where the projected patterns stick onto object surfaces. Please visit the project page for more details. Thank you for listening.